Okay, so here we are in the Wargaming Shed, and this is what I've got left to finish. Now, all these this side have been undercoated. Uh, I've got two bases to do for my uh, heavy weapons teams, my MMG teams, like I showed you in a past video what I'm doing. Uh, if you haven't seen that, basically, rather than buying the models for um, medium machine gun teams, what I'm doing is setting them up on these bases so they move around the battlefield there and you can remove them as they take casualties. So, yeah, just got them to do. These guys have all been um, at the base coat put on. Vehicles at the back, uh, these are 3D printed, uh, two half tracks and two panzers. Uh, they've been undercoated. These guys are here, I've already worked on, and uh, they just need uh, the bases finishing off. And this is my um, failed print I had. So instead of uh, binning it, what I've done is turned it into a bit of um, battlefield scenery. So it's a burnt out half track. Um, all I've done is uh, done like a, an undercoat on both sides. Uh, so you can see as it comes round the burnt bit and obviously the unburnt bit. <laughs> so I've got to finish this off, uh, do some um, camouflaging, the tracks and everything like that. Probably some put some more stuff around the base. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm all aiming to do today. So the next part of this video uh, will hopefully be a all finished. And then what I'll do is get out my whole uh, Waffen SS army out on the battlefield and it'll all be ready for uh, bar action uh, third edition okay i'm gonna get started and um see you soon uh, it'll all be on this video so uh, i'll be back with you within seconds uh, but to me it's probably going to be all day uh, okay <laughs> see you soon guys okay <clears throat> oh, gosh excuse me so here we are uh, with me waffen ss uh, reinforcements all ready to go it uh, took me a couple of days longer than I thought, um, but there we go, <laughs> so now they're ready. So let's have a look. Okay, um, Panzer Shrek team. Uh, some more rifle guys, so I can add these to different squads or uh, make up um, other squads for different platoons. So let's send the guys there. Over here, this is all my uh, crew teams for either mortars or... Um, anti-tank guns or anything like that so that's all them guys ready <clears throat> excuse me officers uh, so again these can be i could either use them as um you know proper platoon officers or i could use them for um section commanders uh things like that or up forward observers there's two two or three guys there with maps so i could use them from there and Here's all the uh, mortars that I've got. Like I said, uh, I've got four more to make, yeah. But this is for all armies. Uh, like I said, I don't put them with the crew on one base. I do the crew separately. So other armies can use these mortars if they're not all being used by one or share them among them. And again, with the pack um, 40s, these were all uh, painted before. And what I've decided to do as well is make these... Um, Panzerfaust um, tokens. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, saying this is um, a squad of uh, troops, what I can do if I have two Panzerfausts, um, I can put them there. And then, as they get used, I just take it away so I know what's what. Rather than having the models, you know, in there and swapping them about all the time, if I haven't got enough, um, I can't really do that. So, I like using tokens. So I decided on the few um, sprues that I had uh, to make up my riflemen and everything. Uh, I'd use them on there to do that. Okay, <clears throat> two um, half tracks. Uh, these are 3D printed. And the two panzers as well. That's them done. And over here, uh, not completely finished painting yet, but there's my um, failed print. That I'm using as a piece of terrain. As, um, it could be an objective marker or just put on the table uh, a bit more cover or anything. Well, that's that. Just need to finish that off. And as the rest of me Waffen SS go, they're the guys in the back there uh, that you have seen before. 
and the vehicles specifically for these, but they could be using other army, uh, German army setups as well. So I'll just put these over there. <clears throat> One thing I've um, forgotten to do with um, the half tracks and the Panzers is um, give them a dry brush like I've done in the back, the ones in the back there. But that's my, if we can get it all in, <laughs> my Waffen SS Army all ready for, um, like I said, I don't know yet until I get the real book, version 3, bot action. Um, but I think I've got pretty much all the bases covered. Um, obviously, there's more. We always need more. But um, that's ready to go for them. Okay, so next thing I'm going to work on is the Americans. Um, I've found quite a few uh, sprues of them. Uh, I'm going to get them built up. Same sort of thing. Uh, so we got enough to build up the rifle squads, uh, weapons teams, and uh, everything like that, and some guys to use mortars or um, anti-tank guns or things like that. And I don't know if I mentioned, I probably did, um, my machine gun teams. So this is a medium machine gun team, and what I've done is done them so I can take them off the base. So I can re remove them as casualties, or if I'm not taking them, they can join squads as well as um, a, a machine gun team in a squad. Okay, so that's three of them. So that's virtually a platoon there of uh, medium machine guns. Put that back on there. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to work on the Americans next, and I'll, I'll take you along uh, how I'm working them out. Okay, well, thanks a lot, guys, for joining me with this. And I uh, hope to see you again soon. And remember to make it, paint it, and play it. See you again soon, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye now.